Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part six of my Accounts Payable series. If you haven't watched parts one through five yet, go watch those and then come on back. All right, last time we worked on our payables report, which is looking pretty good. Let's put a button on here. Actually, let's put the button on here to print the report. So design view, and we'll put it right down here. Uh, form, form design button drop the button report operations I like to preview it before I print it so I'm gonna go to preview report the payables text and we'll just put in here I just put report next and then payables report button and there we go save it Close it, open it, open it. Beautiful. All right. Let's go back. Whoops. That's the problem with maximizing it. If you don't unmaximize it, then your form stays maximized too. Let's take a peek now at what we got. I want to make some totals. We could turn this guy off, by the way. Don't click that X. I hate how they did this. One of my pet peeves with access. Hey, access team, change this. This is too close and similar to that. This means to close the grouping pane. This deletes that grouping level or sorting level. I hate that. Do something different. Put it over here maybe. I don't know. So make sure you click on that guy to close that grouping pane. Okay. So I am going to copy one of these guys. Copy, click, paste. And we had this discussion in the forums, by the way. Let me delete that. Uh, somewhere, somehow, with Windows 11 and later versions of Access, you can't copy and paste anymore. See? Copy, click, paste. It won't let you copy multiple text boxes. I don't know when this happened. I don't know how to fix it. Um, it's some kind of bug that's floating around if people are aware of it, but you have to do it one at a time. It stinks. Copy, click, paste. Slide you over here. If you want to put a line in here, you can. Report design. This is the kind of fluff that I usually add later, but while I'm thinking about it, sometimes I do it. So I'll put a little line right there. And drag it out over that way. There we go. Okay, now this guy is, let's take a look at its data. It's past due. Okay, so this guy is going to be equal to the sum of past due. Okay, not D sum. Just the regular sum function. It's summing everything above it. So for a group footer, it's everything in that group. All right, while you're at it, change this. Let's call this uh, group past due. Okay, or how about well, let's go payee past due because this is for the payee. Payee past due. That makes more sense. Okay, save it. Let's take a peek, make sure that's working. Okay, good. 100. All right, zero, zero. We just need to do a little formatting now, right? So back to here and let's go format as currency. Make sure that works. Yep, looks good. Okay. And a lot of times for these reports, I set decimals to zero because I just seeing all these dot zero zeros all over the place, unless it's important to you. For me personally, usually for a report like this, just like the IRS, right? I don't care about pennies. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to select all of these. I'm holding down the shift and clicking individually. We're gonna set decimal places to zero and then take a peek and that looks better. Okay, okay. And maybe for these footers here, we'll bold them. All right, copy this guy, copy, paste, paste, see? Copy, click, paste, there we go. It's, it's, it's not you. It's not me. It's just weird. <laughs> All right. Equals the sum of do in seven. And this will be payee do in seven. And then we'll bold it. And then we'll do the same thing for these guys. Copy, paste. See, copy, paste. Freaky. There we go equals the sum of do in 30 payee do in 30 hold it and one more copy 
paste. Oh, it did it the first time that time. And then we'll paste it there. Equals the sum of that. And it's the payee over 30. Okay. Fold it. Save it. Close it. Open it. Open it. And looks good. Beautiful. And we got a format currency, of course. And yeah, right here. Right click, design, maximize. Click, 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 format currency. These guys don't have a dedicated format in here because they're inheriting the format from the query, but you can, if you want to, come in here and just force that to currency as well. All right, save it preview looks good okay how about a total down here on the bottom for the entire report well it's going to work pretty much the same way we're going to put it in the report footer not the page footer it's possible to do page footer calculations but it's not easy it requires a, a, some tricks okay but you can just put these guys down here and again it's a bug somewhere. Copy, paste. Oh, it worked that time. See, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's really weird. I'm glad that it worked that time, though. All right, we'll stick that there. And I'm going to leave room for a thick line on top of it. I'm going to take this guy, copy it, click down here, paste. See? Copy, paste. And it's not pasting. Copy, paste, paste. Ooh! Oh, it's driving me crazy. Let's make a new line. Access team, get on this. It's driving me crazy. Okay, then we'll go to format, shape outline, and we'll make it thicker. All right, there we go. Now, as it is right now, that should be good enough. See, there's your totals. Okay, there's one thing that I like to do, though. You don't have to do it, but I like to name these guys properly because they come in as text 15 text 16 and so on right so let's call this uh report past due this one will be report uh due in seven report due in. it's just it's just proper database technique people report so uh over 30. um and, but I'll be completely honest. I didn't always used to do this. Um, I only usually really bother naming a text box or a control in general if I'm going to refer to it. Like if somebody else needs it for its value, which as you're going to see in a minute, someone will. Okay. So that's when I usually bother naming them. All right. So we've got our totals going here for each client. We've got our totals for the report as, as a whole. Now we need one more is over here, right? This report or this total going this way. So you see the total amount of money due to that payee. Okay, now this one's actually in some ways easier. I am going to slide all of this stuff because you see my my report it cuts off here because I've got to set the eight and a half by 11. So eight and a half over and it's just shy of that because I got quarter inch margin. So we're going to take all of this and just slide it a little bit to the left. So I got room for one more field in there, which means you got to get smaller, which means you guys got to get bigger. So you can come a little bit further over to there. Okay. And then we're going to copy this. Actually this, we don't copy this guy. We're going to copy this guy. We're not going to actually have a number here. You could, we could do a number here in the query. You could do the calculations here in the report or do them in the query. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, it's usually better to do them in the query. All right, so let's put this guy on pause. Let's close this. Let's go back to our payee queue, or our payables queue. And let's put that calculation in here. Because we got all the fields in here, right? So over here, this is just gonna be, let's zoom in, Shift F2. I'm gonna move this so we can see what's behind it, right? Total due is gonna be the past due plus due in seven plus due in 30 plus over 30. And it's literally that simple. 
Okay, and I like having it here because you can actually sum it up now in the report as well. So there's our total due. This should be this going across, yep. Okay, and let's clean this up just a touch by taking the payee and moving it over here. And the paid date, since it's always null, you don't even have to see that. You can turn that off because we don't need it to carry through to the report. Okay, looking good, looking good. All right, so let's close this and go back to our report and design view and maximize it. And now we have another field we can work with. I'm just going to copy and paste this guy. Copy and paste this guy. It's really annoying. And we're just, just shy. Oh, I'm going to slide everybody over one more pixel. Or these aren't pixels, these are bits. Okay. And now this is going to be the total. We'll come into our label up top. Total. Open up view. This is going to be the total due. Total due. This guy, copy, paste, uh, copy, paste. There we go. Slide you over here. Okay, this is going to be the sum of total due, payee, total due, and then copy, paste. Show me right there. What do we call you? Report. Sum of total do. Report total do. All right. Save it. Preview it. And there we go. So you totally owe $4,551 to everybody in your database. <laughs> now, a lot of times people don't want to see all these details. You just want the summary information. And that's okay. All you really have to do is just hide the detail section. If you don't want all that detail, watch. Come into detail, change visible to no. Okay? Save it. Now print preview it. And now all you're getting is the totals. See? It's just the totals for each one due. If you, if you don't want to see the detail, just turn it off. It's easier to have it in there to make all those calculations. You could make an aggregate query instead and then base the report off an aggregate query. But this way, you've got the details if you want it. And with a little VBA, you can turn that detail section on or off based on a preference in the database. You can make a checkbox, show the details or not. We'll do that when we get to some VBA stuff. You can also control things like just give me the detail report for one payee. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. You can do it now without VBA, but you got to make multiple reports. And then you're going to have three, four of the same exact report just with little minor tweaks in it instead of having one report and then doing the little tiny tweaks with VBA. See, it saves you a lot of time that way too. Here's that other video I mentioned last time. If you want to go learn more about how these totals work, you can do all kinds of things on here. You can use count, you can use sum. There's a bunch of different functions you can use. All right, so that's going to do it for part six. Now that is the end of the expert level videos. I am going to do one, possibly two more videos with some VBA tricks for the developer students. So we'll cover that tomorrow in part seven. So tune in tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. Members, of course, you can continue watching right now. And in the meantime, before tomorrow, if you don't know VBA and you want to learn a little bit, go watch this video first. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started with VBA. But as of right now, you got a fully functional accounts payable system for your database with no VBA code required. Tomorrow, part seven, we're going to do some more cool stuff. But that's going to do it for today, folks. That's your tech help video. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part seven. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. 
Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like level one, level two is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject, and you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.